Looking for a new spray gun for your house or your solvents? We're gonna try out the new Yatich spray gun. Uh, it's an all-purpose spray gun, comes with numerous tips, and we're gonna try it out today and see how it works. We purchased this off Amazon and the link will be down below. It comes with the, the uh, main body, the sprayer assembly, a wrench, six different tips, a uh, cap for the uh, container once you're done spraying, a viscosity cup, and of course the directions. As far as assembly goes, this, the unit came pretty much just like this. It's uh, really simple to assemble. You just push this in like this and snap it in. As far as the tips to be used, it comes with uh, numerous ones that come from 1.2 to a 3.0. We're gonna be using the 2.0 tip today um, because I have my uh, just standard house paint mixed fairly thin and I just want a decent coverage. And uh, otherwise, if it was a little bit thicker, I'd probably put on a bigger tip. Um, it comes with the wrench to take that off. To put on the new tip, it's simple. Just unscrew the cap here, and the tip is right there. It's a brass tip, which is nice. And you just screw that on and screw it off, and just put on the tip that you desire. And that's pretty much it for that, and it's ready to go. So we'll go ahead and do show you the viscosity. So viscosity, all that is saying is what is the flow of the paint. So uh, for recommended for uh, water-based paints like we're using today, uh, the, uh, the chart on the direction said between 20 to 40 seconds. So you just dip that in there and you just let that run out of the cup. And we're at 30 seconds on the paint that I just mixed. I just mixed standard water in with it. And uh, so once that's ready to go, we dump that out and clean our cup. Now, uh, I did notice that if you're, you dip this cup in without having the uh, paint already mixed or thinned out, uh, you do need to clean this cup because a lot of that thick paint residue will stay inside the cup and won't give you a true measurement on how fast it's actually gonna run out. So, uh, best thing to do is after you measure, see how fast it's running out, go ahead and wash your cup out and, uh, and retest it again and get it to the desired uh, viscosity. So I've got the paint cup washed out now, and you do want to make sure that stays clean for storage for next time. You don't want to end up having a bunch of paint residue in there and then having to peel that out and affecting what you're doing. So we'll put that to the side and we'll go ahead, unscrew our tank. Now this suction area right here, it rotates. I'm going to be doing mostly painting up like this. I want the tube to be sucking from the bottom of the cup so it's, I'm actually always having paint in it until I run out. If I was painting a, like a piece of furniture, I'm gonna be mainly painting down. So I'll move that tube to the front and then it's always you know, pulling paint out of the cup um, until it runs out. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is adjust your spray pattern. I can adjust it this way. That will give me a flat spray pattern. If I adjust it this way, and screw that down. That'll give me a spray pattern like this. And that's what I'm gonna be using mostly today. Um, you can adjust it either way you want and uh, you'll find out which way your spray pattern is. Basically, it's gonna be opposite of what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and load our tub up. And we're not gonna exceed, exceed the line here, otherwise we'll probably get some spillage on that. So first off, we're going to be painting a, a tank. So I'm going to run that and you'll see that the tank is actually fairly tall. It's a feed bin. So I'm going to put that tube to the back, screw that and give it a nice little snug. You don't want to over tighten it because then you, you do have to get it back off. All right. So far, I love this thing. You are going to get paint on you. It's just the way it is. Um, so on this unit, it's it's actually blows the paint. It's like if you have your own little personal air compressor in this unit. So when you depress the trigger, it, start, it kicks on the blower. 
as you depress it more, it starts to also push out the paint as well. Um, this is flowing really good. Um, super impressed. So we'll just go ahead and continue and uh, go ahead and get this thing knocked out. So we finished our project. Uh, it turned out great. I'm super impressed with this gun. Yeah, make sure you clean it up after you're done using water or solvent, depending on the paint you're using. This unit is on Amazon. Super impressed with it. I would definitely uh, give it a two thumbs up. I have no problems with this machine. I actually really like it. Um, so the, as again, link is down below. And if you have any questions or comments, let us know. Uh, and always uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe. All right, thank you for watching DIY on the house.